Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pigmanicus Plays from the depths. In the last episode we designed the advanced cannon and off screen I have actually armored up the turret as you can see right over here. So now it's nice and really actually doesn't look that great. It actually is very very chunky but hey I did the best I could under the circumstances and I'm not that great with building turret caps. But anyway we have a turret cap over here. Also I also got to check how the radars are doing. So line of sight of the vehicle is blocked so detection is disabled. I am going to have to uh, change uh, the radar detection equipment over here and probably move them somewhere else because this ain't just this ain't gonna work over here so anyway in this episode I'm probably gonna go finish up this airplane uh, finish up the detection and then give it all the rest of the armor and add some cosmetic stuff so anyway see you all in the speed up
All right, guys, I think that should just about do it for the speed up part of the video. Um, you saw me derp around a long time with the AI and stuff. And uh, for the looks of looks wise of this airplane, I'm thinking it's like a cross between of a helicopter, airplane and boat. But the plane couldn't really decide what it wanted to be. So it decided to be all three at the same time. That's what kind of vibe I'm getting off of this thing. And it does. It looks bad. OK, this thing looks really bad. It does not look that great at all. But we are going to use it anywho because I do not want to spend time building another plane because I want to get right back into the campaign. So let's go ahead and get rid of these thrusters right here. And let me go ahead and find a better spot for them. OK. So anyway, um, I think I actually need a large thruster at the back. That would not be a bad idea. Let me see where they is. Uh, okay, where are they? Uh, do, 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 do. You're in jet engines and then huge jet engine. There we go. Oh, that looks just, that looks amazing. That looks so good, JK, doesn't it? It looks horrible, but we're going to use it anyway. All righty. So anyway, we're going to go stick some jet engines across here. Uh, we can put... Uh, some like this one two and then like um, one two and then we can we probably need some yaw steering and I do not have a thruster on that other side of the thingamajig that I'm trying to say here I mean I don't have another thrust another, another piece of wood here not a thruster it's a piece of wood I can't believe I was messing up on that okay let's go grab this part right here and then all back down and then do that. Beautiful. It's magnificent now. It's just great. So anyway, I'm probably going to put some balloons on this as well because I do not want it just sinking in the water and then not being able to get back up. So let's just go ahead and grab, I think it's an air. And let's go ahead and grab some, not helium pump, not jet safe. Oh, I forgot about those. We probably need some of those. Um, oh, I could put those on the edge. I forgot about that. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, hot air balloon deployer and switch. This block allows you to control balloon deployers. You could also use this during... HP, okay, ACBs. I'll set those up off camera so you don't have to see me mess with that. So let's go ahead and put a couple of these bad boys on. Uh, we can put one here. We can put one. Um, we probably need one on each wing. Oh, well, two on each wing, actually. Let's go ahead. Get rid of those. Uh, we, I'll want some over here, and I want some over here. So that's when, if we get stuck in the water, if the uh, wings are still existing and the thruster is still working, we can have these four engines uh, kick on, and then we will be able to take off back into the sky without any major issues. So let's go ahead, put these back on right there. Nice. Okay, so now this should be good for thrust-wise, uh, for making our plane go forward. And let's go ahead and add some jet stabilizers to make this a balance. All right, we'll go ahead and put one over here and then put one over here are these upside down or right side up i can never tell with these things okay um i'm gonna put these the other way around because i think that does make a difference and if it doesn't make a difference well okay so you can tell by the way the arrow is going i believe okay let me see here does that make a difference uh no i just rotated the quit rotating it the wrong way i want to know if that makes a difference now i confused myself whatever okay if the thrust comes out the bottom it's the right way around i'm guessing i'm not sure but I'm just guessing that's the way it works. So let's go ahead and put a couple on the side over here as well. We'll go put one right here. And then we'll put one over here as well. Just get some back stabilizer going. All right. So I think that should be enough thrust for us to get in the air and stuff. Now, I think I also do have enough radar equipment for us to see just about everything. And now taking another look at it, it doesn't look terrible. Hopefully, it doesn't perform terrible because I'm hoping this thing can actually do some stuff. So let's go ahead and save this design right here. Alrighty, and I will go ahead and restart designer and then we can go ahead and see how well this guy actually does against fighting enemies and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead uh, load in a enemy vehicle. Uh, we can go ahead load in a marauder and then we can turn off the AI because I do not want you moving. Alrighty, let me go hop off of this thing and let me just go ahead and uh, which is the right tab you hit save you hit. Oh, I can't do it here. I got to hit double end. There you go. All right. Now we're detached from our person. And let's go ahead and find out where the Marauder is. There it is. And let's go ahead and spawn a said vehicle over here. Let's go ahead and load the vehicle. And then airplane. Go off into the, uh, the, 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 the air like you just don't care. Go. Why? Oh. Oh. 
What? Okay, why are you why are you no moving, man? You have oh you're why are you turned off? Okay, I don't understand why you were turned off, but that's that's completely fine. You can probably find the enemy from there. Or unless you want to go Wow! You're going completely vertical. <laughs> Wowzas! Oh my! Oh my! Um those are mines, and now you're gonna do a little loop de loop. That's that's nice. Um can you focus on the enemy, please? Okay. Um, so you wanted to do a little loop-de-loop -loop up there. That's fine. I mean, you're not doing it right now, so that's good. Um, okay, so we are a little bit, I think we're just a tad bit too back heavy, and I think we do need a lot more, um, over the head thrust, or we're just flying high. I guess that might be one of the reasons why as well. But anyway, we're getting a bombing run off of this guy. I don't think we're hitting him, though. Uh, no, we're not hitting him right now. Uh, <laughs> no, we're actually missing him. Okay, well, there's a hit, and there's another hit. Uh, we're not doing a whole lot of damage. If any at all, this might be another failed flyer. Oh, great. Are you, what are you doing right now? Sir, oh my goodness, I am gonna have to change that. I might make the barrels longer so it has a better time with aiming, but because right now, this is just insane. Why are you flying this high? Now it's adjusting to trying to get back on the ground. Oh my word. Okay, can you please hit that guy? Oh, you can't hit him because now uh, you're too far out of range. Oh my goodness. I might have to put, uh, change those barrels to AA mantle so we'll have an easier time with that. But hopefully you will be able to shoot at those at one point. I'll just have to do some adjusting, I guess. But hey, at least it flies well. I'll just have to put another thruster on top of the uh, nose of the ship so it can actually, you know, not flip over in junk. Alrighty. So, it, I mean, it flies. That's the important thing, right? Right? Uh, of course it is. Okay, so now it's just going to try to circle around. Here we go. Now we're getting some uh, kind of weird bombing run things. We knocked off a piece. We did something. What did we knock off? We've knocked off a piece of wood. I feel accomplished today, folks. I feel really accomplished. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to... Okay, there we go. That was something. Nice. Okay, you knocked off a piece of glass and you did something else. That's pretty nice. I mean, I am obviously going to have to do some more adjusting off screen. But hey, I'm very happy that this vehicle is actually doing... Why? I do not want to save Marauder. I want to save my vehicle, please. Oh my goodness. Can I save my vehicle? No. Why did you just go like, hey, let's go ahead and place that somewhere else. Okay, let's go ahead. Zoom up on this guy. All right, here we go. And build. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and save this vehicle before we uh, leave and whatnot. All righty. So, um, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and add another um, altitude thruster in the middle so I, you can actually it can actually steer a little bit better. I'm probably also going to have to add some more... Um, what am I trying to say here? Some more... Uh, oh, yeah. Change the mantles out. I'm going to have to definitely do that. And what I'm planning on doing is... Probably I need to um, I keep I'm keep forgetting what I'm trying to say here. I need to uh, Man, I think the thrust is good. I think the thrust is just fine I need to change those to AA mantles uh, mantles for sure because that's just not gonna work And then I'm gonna have to put the APCBs on the hot air balloon deployers But other than that this thing's doing pretty fine pretty happy about that and also I'm definitely gonna have to change the AI height I'm gonna have to make the missiles uh, you know, drop when we're actually over an enemy and not some when we're just in the, out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, um, I think that'll be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy the video, want to hit that like button, comment down below your thoughts and feelings with this video. And if you guys really did this video, I uh, really did enjoy this video, why don't you hit that subscribe button for more from the devs and other cool games like that. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. God bless these super awesome people. And goodbye. I also forgot to add the uh, ammunition processors.